Hello everyone, this is Bruce Petrov with Ask Candyman Bruce. Today I'm going to show you just a little trick, maybe it's not so tricky, but a little tip on how you can deal with a closet or some kind of door that has kind of a tight space like this one. We thought we could put a door on this that would swing in. The closet's a little small for that. Some walk-in closets, that works fine. We thought then we could make it swing out, but kind of interferes with the shelves and it's always going to bang and be in the way here. So here's our solution. We have made this curtain and we're going to use a rod like this and a couple of brackets like this. In a minute, we're going to show you how to do it. If you think this is going to help you, please like the video and share it if you're inclined as well so others can find it. And comment. We love comments. We'll be right back. First thing we did is we took our clothes rod material and I just got this at Lowe's just to give you a little tip if you're shopping at Lowe's it's in the millworks millwork aisle where all the trim and different hardwoods are that are that are shaped and cut um, to different profiles it's all the way down at the end near kind of some other material that looks like handrail and it's got a flat edge on it if it's handrail to mount the little handrail brackets on so this is not handrail this is round and this is poplar. You can get different materials to make this out of. You can even make it out of a PVC pipe or they have metal clothes rod, but I like this. All right, the next thing that I did is I cut it to about a quarter inch short of my length here. Okay, and then what I did is I, I took my, that's not gonna sit there. I took my brackets and I held them up because you have to realize that one has the solid ring and the other has a half ring. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus on that. You got a half ring there where it has to lift out. So I want this pretty high in the opening, but I don't want it so high that I can't lift out the rod if I need to. So I just kind of calculated that. I held it up here and kind of did a little bit of checking to see if it would clear that, and it will. So that's the next thing we do is we mount our brackets. Oh, I didn't talk about these, but they, uh, I got these at Lowe's too. And a little tip there is that they're not in the hardware aisle where I thought they were. They are in by the, the shelving, the closet shelving. So that's where you'll find those. Get this oriented straight up and get my tip back in my drill. And we'll attach the rest of them. Now I have, these are pine boards, they're uh, finger jointed pine boards. You may have a hardwood here, or you may have MDF, and some of those materials are a little harder, so you might want to pre-drill, but in my case, I don't need to. All right, we'll mount the other side the same way. We'll get this mounted and then we'll show you how to put the curtain on the rod and stick it in. Next thing we're gonna do is take this curtain. Now my wife made this curtain for me, but you are probably able to make this yourself. It has a little ruffle on the side and then it has a folded area here for the rod pocket at the top. So we're gonna slide this curtain onto the rod and I'm just simply gonna hold my hand here so it doesn't slide all the way off. Come on, a little space here. I'm gonna take this end, slip it into the round bracket on the wall, then come and drop into the half round on top. All right, now the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use this little hold back here, and we're gonna mount it to the door jam so that you can slide the curtain back. We'll show you the finished product in just a second. All right, now we have the curtain with this nice hold back which does the job that we're looking for. It gives some privacy to the closet, the ability to close it off, but 
avoids that swinging door that kind of blocks traffic. If you guys have a tight area in your home where this technique is really good for you, send us a picture. Put in the comments below. Just put a picture down there. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see what you guys have done. Hope this guy, I hope this really helps you guys. Please subscribe to our channel. That way you can get notified when we put up new videos. And I hope this helps you bring your family home.